Hi guys, welcome to um, Snoop's Coops. Welcome to Snoop's Coops. Hey guys, and welcome to the kitchen. For my birthday this year, I got this baby. An air fryer. She's so beautiful. I am so excited to use her. So I thought today I would try her for the first time and test some recipes, particularly Lily Lily. TikTok recipes, if there's anything that enables me more, it's TikTok. People have invented some really bizarre but beautiful looking recipes using the air fryer on TikTok. So today I'm going to run through some of my faves and I'm so excited. We're going to go for some savoury dishes. We're going to do some breadcrumbed courgette, breadcrumbed pickles. Um, we're going to do some Dorito crumbed cheese. Oh my god. Oh, I want to try some pasta chips. I've got some chicken wings. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm going to be here all day. I'm literally going to be in my kitchen all day. Then we're moving on to the sweet stuff. I want to do some French toast, spiced peach. Oh, Oreos. Croissant Oreos. I am so excited. Fingers crossed we get through everything. If not, let me know if you'd like part two of this video. And I'll also be trying some out in my weekly vlogs. So stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to see those. But without further ado, I'm going to switch her on. This air fryer is really cool because it has two compartments. So I can like cook two things at the same time and either set them to be ready at the same time or set them to not. <laughs> but that's going to make my life a whole lot easier. It's the Ninja Jewel air fryer. I'll leave a link to it down below. I've got all my ingredients here. So many ingredients. Just prepping my like breadcrumbing station and also starting to marinate my chicken wings. I've got a shit ton here but I'm also going to have this for dinner tonight. I'm living off air fried food today. Lucky me. I've slathered my chicken wings in paprika and now I'm going to add asafoetida. This is like a garlic tasting herb. I don't have any garlic powder so I'm using this so I'm just going to sprinkle that on. I'm going to sprinkle on some onion granules because that's how we roll. I'm going to sprinkle on some salt and pepper and maybe some like cumin. Need some more salt. Yeah let's do a little bit of cumin as well. Give it this good flavour. And now it's the gross bit where I actually have to um, touch. Touch the chicken! Ew. Ew. Thanks. These magic hands I've got, it's like that show, what is it, Art Attack, where they <laughs> get some magic hands to come out. Onion granules? Yes, please. <gasps> I am actually going to put my chicken on now because it takes the longest. I think I need to put it on max crisp for like 24 minutes, but I need to preheat it first, so I haven't actually used this yet. Um, max crisp, so three minutes to pre, pre, preheat. It's not, not too loud, okay, that's quite loud. <laughs> Oh no. And I'm gonna do like a couple of these, but I'm gonna save the rest of it tonight because I'm a pig. Whilst the chicken is cooking, I am gonna go ahead and prepare my battered courgette and pickles. I have whisked up an egg and then I've got some flour which I've mixed with salt, pepper, uh, paprika, and a bit of onion granules and asafoetida as well. And then I've got my tray of panko breadcrumbs. Get a little slice. We put it in the flour. Ooh. <laughs> got this thing where I um, get really weird. I think it's like some people have got more. I get that with like flour and corn flour. It makes it feel a bit. You get it, so. I would love to see you with your own cooking show. Oh, do you reckon I'll be alright? Yeah, you like. <laughs> 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 and then I'm gonna dunk it in my egg eggy mix. <laughs> eggy is such a gross word. Oh no. Okay. Can I ask a question? What? Have you thought about a name for this yet? Yeah. Ah, oh, hi guys. Welcome to. Um, Snoop's Kooks. Welcome to Snoop's Kooks, by the way. That is my new name for the show. Right, okay, so I've got the eggy courgette and I'm dunking it in the panko. And this is gonna be so delicious. Here he is. Here's the guy. Looks like that. Cool, so I can take this one out. I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna pop him in my air fryer. Look at me, I've got an air fryer. Right, now I can put my chicken wings in. This is chaos. This is heated now. Yeah, that's quite hot. So I'm gonna put some wings in. I can fit about three in. So this air fryer isn't huge. I'm also gonna spray it with some vegetable oil. Make sure it doesn't stick. But yeah, let's do it. Max Chris, 24 wings. And I'm going to check on it and turn them halfway through. Right, back onto the courgette duty. We've got some more flour. I've never <laughs> done this before. Breadcrumbs. I'm going to do some gherkin in the same mixture. For our wedding, we need 80 gherkin jars. So, if this is delicious, which I hope it will be, then 
I think that'll be doable in nine months, being able to eat 80 jars of gherkins air fried. I've also seen people doing this with avocado, but I wasn't brave enough to try that myself. Right, next I'm gonna be doing exactly the same process, but with some cheese, and instead of panko breadcrumbs, I'm gonna be using some Doritos. Not any Doritos though. We're gonna be using chili heat wave ones because that is what the people on TikTok love. <laughs> One of these, and I'm gonna put some Doritos in there to crunch them all up to make like a breadcrumb formula. You can make nachos in the uh, air fryer, so I want to try doing that as well. Oh! I'm also going to flip my chicken wing. So I've just realised that I had it on the wrong setting. I had it on max crisp when I should have had it on air fry. But, whoa, look at those, they look so good. The whole kitchen smells amazing as well. That has been like 10 minutes and they're already looking pretty amazing. Oh my god, they're so crispy. I'm gonna put my uh, courgette and gherkins in now. They look like this. I'm gonna spritz them with a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm gonna do it for two minutes and see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Cheese string, worst thing that was ever invented. Why was, why was this invented? <laughs> Flour with pepper and paprika will go cheese on <laughs> And then Dorito crisp. Check how these courgettes, oh, that needs way longer. Okay. Air fry, five minutes. They're getting there, a little bit. Chicken wing! Oh my god, they look so good. It's literally just taken one minute to clean this, so super easy. Put that back in there, ready for the next thing. Oh my god, everything looks so good. May I introduce you to Snooks Cukes Crispy Chicken Wings. And here's something I prepared earlier. I prepared some salsas. So earlier, just before I started filming, I prepared a lime and garlic yogurt mayo dip and a garlic aioli made with mayo and lemon juice. And, 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 and also got some Leon aioli with Harissa. I haven't tried this before, but hopefully it'll be nice. I think those wings will be super hot. Also, the budget is ready now and the pickles. Here is what they look like. How good does that look? So we're gonna try all of these now. They do look crispy, don't they? I just hope the inside of the courgette is cooked properly. <laughs> I think we should go for a courgette first, what do you think? Is it got a crunch? Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Well done, babe. Oh yeah. Fuck. That's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Does it need more salt? Mm -mm. I'll try one of these. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Is that good? Mm hmm. Little pickle. Mmm. Yum. How are you going to eat your wing? I'm going to pick it up. What one's your favourite? I think I like the gherkin. The breadcrumbs are almost making it a bit nutty. Chicken wing. That is super crispy. In fact, so oh crispy. My God, wow. So crispy, does it even have any chicken in it? <laughs> wow. Is that good? Oh yeah, look at that. That is gorgeous. That took no time at all. If we'd have done that in the- If you like marinate that overnight. Yeah, needs a tiny bit more salt. But that's my my problem, not, not the chicken wings problem. I'm having this for dinner tonight. Babe, that's so good. All hell the air fryer. Mmm. Right, next I'm going to put the cheese in, but I'm really worried that the cheese is going to proper melt and not hold together in the air fryer, so I've just cut a tiny bit of baking paper and paste that down in there so that there's still room in there for, like, air to flow around, but hopefully it'll mean that they stay together a little bit easier. So, put these Dorito bad boys, that's what I'm calling them, in, in here. My rogue baby bell. Is going in. This is what they look like. I will see you in a couple of mins. Air fry for start with three mins. They look so good. Guys, look at that. Oh my god. Oh. What is that? What is it? <gasps> Cheese string. Oh my god, yes. 
Whoa. <laughs> nice mad. Mm. I love cheese. I don't like baby bell, but I might like this. That might be better than the cheese string. Whoa. Big talk. Okay, this is a bit of a rogue one. I wasn't going to do this, but I am. I've just boiled some pasta. So I'm going to try making pasta chips. This is like a really big thing on Instagram and TikTok at the moment. Oh my God, I've, I've like refound my love for Doritos. It's so good. I'm just going to drain this pasta. Put it in the air fryer. I'm going to do it in the same one I've done the cheese strings in. <laughs> That's gross. I've actually done, done red lentil pasta because I, I couldn't find any normal one. But I'm going to spray it with some oil. 15 minutes. I'm going to shake them halfway through and I'm going to make up some sort of powder for, for them, like a seasoning, including some spices, salt and pepper. So I'll show you that. I've just gone to flip my pasta and I don't know what's happened. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's the type of pasta I used. Now I'm gonna start prepping the desserts. So, the desserts we're gonna to do today. We are gonna make some Oreo puff pastry, like croissant brownie things. I can't wait for that. And then we're also gonna try French toast. And I really wanted to make some like cinnamon spiced peaches in there as well to show that you can cook fruit in your air fryer and I think the peaches might go really well with with French toast okay I've got my pre-made puff pastry because who, who's got time to make real pastry on a Friday like today Oreos I love Oreos they're vegan did you know I'm sure you did do it in little triangles like I saw it done on TikTok putting my Oreo on the pastry and then simply folding it over I think I've got way too much pastry <laughs> Ew. And just pinching it together to make this little ball. If you guys have got any air fry recipes you would like me to try, do let me know and I can get on that for you. Because this has been really fun and anything to do with food is worthwhile in my honest opinion. Oh my God, this smells so good already. Oreos smell amazing. So they look like this and I'm gonna put them in now. Here they are. We do have a bake option on this, but I am going to do it on the air fry option because it's an air fry video. I'm going to do it for three minutes and like check where I am at that point because I keep burning stuff. My pasta chips nearly done. <gasps> I did that for way too long. Oh, that is a complete fail. I'm going to put them in the spices I made anyway. My pasta chips have come out shockingly bad, but I'm gonna try it. I mean, it's crispy all right, but is it nice? No. <laughs> I think it would go well with some hummus, but I'm gonna dunk it in the aioli. I mean, I'm a burnt pasta. <laughs> G's gonna try my pasta chips. First, we're gonna go on Look. Oh. <laughs> out of how many? Five, ten? Ten. Looks out of ten. Oh. No. Do you want a dog yeah. son? Oh, Jesus Cross. Christ. <laughs> no? It's got loads of spices on it. Getting a bit of burnt coming through. I'm getting a bit of um crunch coming through. My time has gone off. Oh, they are cute. Let's go for another three mins. I don't think I have to, oh God, 23, nope. I don't think I have to turn these. Maurice, do you want to know if our Oreo croissants are done? Should we have a look? Oh, oh, oh my God. I think they're done. I think, I think they're done. So let's get uh, yeah, another plate out, oh my God. In hindsight, I think I should have really tried to find croissant batter because I've used puff pastry and it's just <laughs> not the same. <laughs> they look like little dough balls. Hmm. We're going to chop one open. Oh. <gasps> if I was on Bake Off, I would say that they'd say that that's underbaked. Should I put it in again? I think my Oreo bites are done now. 
Is it hot? Mm. Mm. That's dirty. You don't like it? I mean, it's nothing not to like. It's like pastry and chocolate and stuff, but I'm not sure it really works. Oh no! Like it doesn't melt or anything. No, so it, it doesn't. Sort of it holds itself together. It's just like a wet. Oh yeah. I would try that one more time with the correct type of pastry, but wasn't that impressed to be honest. Um, but I do have high hopes for this French toast. So for the French toast, I have to make a like a batter, eggy batter thing: eggs, cinnamon, vanilla, salt, milk. And bread. Here's my eggs. I'm going to cut my peaches now and this is just a very simple recipe. I'm just going to cut them up and put them in the air fryer with some cinnamon and nutmeg. Then they should be perfect. Oh my god, I'm really excited about this French toast. I don't think I've ever made French toast before. But with peaches and some maple syrup, I think this is going to be delicious. They don't take very long though actually, so what I'm going to do guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my French toast in at the same time as the peaches and try and do the match thing where they're both ready at the same time. All I am going to do here is sprinkle on some mixed spice, mm, which smells so good. I've cut my bread into little layers like that. I'm going to dunk them and then just place them straight in the air fryer. Oh, oh. So I'm going to say sink, I'm going to do air fry, three mins, they're ready, they're ready at the same time. Oh yeah, this is going to be so good. So in one half we have my peaches, in the other half we have my bread, how good does that look? That looks pretty delicious if you ask me. Some maple syrup. Bon appetit. I do hope this is nice, I've never made French toast before. A uh, peach might be lava. Peach is awesome. Mmm! What have I done wrong with my French toast? Did I over bake it? Something doesn't, to... Yeah, right. it doesn't taste too much of egg, which is good. But, yeah, something. I might try again. Not cook it for as long. Do you have to like double dunk? How do you do it? Round two. I have somehow managed to get some scrambled egg in my air fryer. <laughs> Um, I'm still letting it do its thing though, but there is scrambled egg in there currently. Guys, I'm, I'm not sure about this, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a taste, but it, yeah, it still looks like really gross. This is the first one, ha! This is the second one. What what do we reckon, A or B? How, oh, it's really hot, ha ha. Mmm! That's a bit better that, isn't it? This is toasted, the first one. Yeah. Whereas this, yeah, so you don't need to cook it long at all. That is much better. Yeah, it's got that, it's got the fluffy bounce. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit exhausted now, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what your favourite looking recipe from this video was, and let me know if there are any other recipes you would like me to try, because I'm so up for experimenting a little bit more. I just read in the manual that came with the air fry that you can like make jerky if you put it on the dehydrate mode for like six, seven hours. So yeah, I'll leave a link to all the TikTok videos I took inspiration from below. I love you guys lots, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.